Hi everybody, it's Nancy here in the Soul Booth. Uh, tonight it's a solo booth and I just want to share some thoughts with you, uh, starting with a quote which is meaningful to me tonight. Just like a sunbeam can't separate itself from the sun and a wave can't separate itself from the ocean, we can't separate ourselves from one another. We are all parts of a vast sea of love, one indivisible divine mind. That is a quote from Marianne Williamson, and I found it at the beginning of chapter 19 in David McGinley's new book, Beyond Surviving. Um, you may remember David was a guest in the Soul Booth a couple of months ago. I also actually did a Facebook Live interview with him a week ago that got a huge response. And we talked about this book launch that happened on Friday night at the Central Library, and I was honored to emcee it. And I say honored because it is an extraordinary piece of work. It's about the cancer journey and David's spiritual work with people who are walking that path. And it's resonating a lot right now because I went to a funeral on Thursday of last week for a beautiful friend of mine named Wade Smith. And if you are in the Halifax area or even in Nova Scotia, there's a good chance you either knew Wade or certainly knew of his impact on his community. After the last week, um, the tributes that poured forth and the um, many, many comments from all those people whose lives he had touched, I think everybody understands what a special human he was. Um, Wade had a funeral that was attended by some say 2,000 people. It was unlike any funeral I've ever seen before and that was a testament to who he was and what he achieved. People came to pay their respects and to celebrate the life of Wade which got cut short by cancer. Um, but you know in his five decades he did a lot of living and he also did a lot of giving. Um, 20 years ago when I interviewed Oprah Winfrey, she said something that really hit home for me and it's something that I have thought about almost every day since, frankly. Um, it was a quote, and she was quoting scripture actually, that went like this, um, from those to whom much is given, much is expected. Well, I couldn't help but think of Wade in light of that quote because Wade was given a lot. He had intelligence and superior athletic ability and serious good looks. In fact, um, one of the speakers at his celebration of life said to great effect and to great um, response, Jay-Z and Beyonce had nothing on Wade and his wife Sherry. And he was right. Um, but Wade also had the giving part down of that quote. He gave back like few people I've seen. He was a role model, a mentor, and an activist in his community. And as I said, he touched a lot of lives. Um, Wade and I met when we were at university at St. Avex, and he was a superstar on the basketball team. And I, uh, I ran into Augie Jones at Wade's funeral. Um, Augie was Wade's lifelong friend. I think they started playing basketball together when they were seven and eight. And they were a dynamic duo on and off the court. And when I thought about it the other day on my long walk to the funeral, because the, the cars were lined up for two kilometers, I think, to the church, um, I, I was thinking about how exciting it was to be a spectator at those games. And I think a big part of it was that Wade and Augie, apart from being outstanding athletes, were both really great people, really outstanding human beings. And because of that, it made it so much more fun to watch them excel on the court. I didn't ever get to know Wade really well. We were friends and we had close friends in common. Um, and 
we always had an affection and a respect for one another. And whenever I would run into him over the years in Halifax, I would always get a big, beautiful hug from him. He hugged like he meant it. And I feel like Wade Smith lived like he meant it. He really knew how to um, fill his life with meaning. Um, I believe that he figured out that the real path to happiness is not in getting, but in giving. And he did a lot of it. Um, he was also just really cool. I remember at St. Avex, you know, he was just cool. And he maintained that through his life. It's funny, I do workshops with teenagers talking about confidence. And we always focus on, okay, what's the difference between being cool and being confident? And I get into the idea of um, cool being a mask that we wear to let people see only what we want them to see or create a, a facade and um, confidence being a willingness to let the mask drop and allow ourselves to be seen. Well, Wade makes me rethink that because <laughs> when I think about Wade, whether it was in university or in recent years, he was just playing cool. But he had a confidence that was born of character, a cool that was born of character and confidence. And it was magnetic. And I think that that magnetic quality was in part responsible for the success he had in his years after university as an educator and a coach. Um, most recently, he was the principal of Citadel High, and I heard today that there, there is a group of people talking about starting a conversation um, around the idea of renaming the school Wade Smith High School, and that touched my heart when I heard it. I would sign that petition. Um, the Soul Booth is, for me, all about having conversations with people who are living their lives in inspiring ways, helping other people, and bringing light. Wade embodied all those things, and Wade was on my list. I wanted to have him as a guest in the Soul Booth, and I would have loved it. Obviously, I missed that opportunity, but I also feel like I missed the opportunity to get to know him better. Have you ever had that experience where you attend a funeral and you end up thinking, oh wow, I wish I had made time and space in my life to get to know that human being better. That's how I felt after Wade's funeral and the beautiful tributes that were made to him by his friends and family members. His presence, his physical presence is no longer here um, but I feel really strongly that his profound impact and his light will continue in this world because everyone who left that celebration of life the other day, like me, I'm sure felt inspired to do more and to be more. And that's all part of Wade's light. So I just want to say, um, express, I guess, my, my sadness and condolences to Wade's wife and his beautiful sons and his brothers and his sister and his mother and all of his huge family um, and say, I understand you lost something extraordinary when you lost Wade Smith, but he is not lost as long as his light is here. And let's just keep it burning.